My first thought as I hit the ground was, I didn't think I was gonna die like this today. Respond to a grass fire 293 and 136. Just a normal day at the station, uh, high winds, you know, high fire danger. We had all our gear ready to go and everything. My driver was Philip Luna at the time, so it was me and Philip jumped in the truck, kind of excited, pumped up to go, so we headed out. And as we're getting geared up and getting ready, I noticed that it was like dark now, like, like storm clouds had rolled in. Now all of a sudden there's no sunshine. We had more than one fire coming our direction. The wind was coming in the direction we were. It just had that eerie feeling like a storm was rolling in. We were gonna set up in front of the fire and try to burn out off the road and stop the fire with a burnout. When we staged up uh, my truck, if you, if you visualize it right here, this is the grass field for thousands of acres that was nothing but tall grass, probably a couple feet tall. Um, the asphalt was pretty much right here, and this is where the truck was. I was stayed sitting right here with this nozzle in my hands. We could see smoke coming up over the horizon. The visibility was bad anyway because of all the wind and the dirt. The fires looked like they are pretty intense. You could tell by the plumes and how, how dark the smoke was. Johnson, y'all are going to get cut off. You've got fire coming up hard behind you. Just cross 136 where I'm at. I could start seeing the fire run within a split second, it went from way out there to hitting the highway at such force. And you know, I looked up and the fire was like right there. All the way into your chest, it was roaring. The wind was blowing. The flames are going all the way across the road now. And it was literally like somebody punched me in the face. I, I was standing up here, I turned with my nozzle like that, and next thing I know, all I seen was fire hitting me in the face. And between the fire, the wind, and probably the smoke, it just literally like getting, getting punched. And that was about the time I saw the other fire truck was in trouble. And, um, <laughs> sorry. Brian and I both saw it com just completely engulfed in flames. We had pretty much, you know, at that point figured they were gone. You know, we thought they were gone. And, and I'm thinking we're next. You know, it's going to get us next. And I got, I got Brian in the back. I could see the other fire truck was in trouble. I could see that um, Danny Weevil was on the back of the truck and um, the flames were intense. And he, sorry. At this point, as I turn around, I can feel the heat just starting to really burn on my back. And, so I open the door and I jump off the truck. As I look right and left of the truck from the front to the back, all I could see was pretty much fire. I, I could just see yellow on both sides. It's a kind of thought you don't want to have, but you know, and don't know why I thought it, but it, it was just a thought when I jumped off. I thought, you know, I didn't think I was going to die here. The back of the um, fire tank, it flashed into flames and the smoke and the heat was so intense. I, I, that image is burned in my head and I can't, I'll never get rid of that. Chief Knapp, which is our chief now, he was captain at the time. He did a, a grass fire class at one point, and uh, it, was a, it was a class about, in the Dumas, they had a, a truck in the middle of the field that got broke down, and their two guys left the truck and went on foot and ended up burning up and dying. And so, uh, for a split second, for some reason, this Captain Knapp popped in my head, and all I could see was his face telling me, get in the truck, stay with the truck. One little snippet of what he said in that class, you know, saved my life that day. So a lot of times we take training for granted, I think, even the simple training that, that can end up saving your life when necessary. An incident like this reinforces our need to, to, to keep training, to keep pounded into everybody's heads that you've got to take all the extra precautions and you've got to keep your head on the swivel because it can come from anywhere. Our job as instructors is, is to get the information to as many people as we can get it out there. Keep doing what you're doing, get up in front of the class and keep, keep pushing forward because that one little moment in time uh, that they remember, in this case, I believe made a, 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 the difference between a really, really tragic situation and what was a bad situation to begin with, but it could have been so much worse, but the training popped into his head and he did what he was, what he was supposed to do.